So let's say we have this pool, which is which has 10 ETH and uh, 500, 500 LISA tokens. Okay, so there's 500 LISA tokens. Now, what is this K then? This K is a constant. This doesn't, it doesn't change. And it's, it's a constant at a state. This is the amount of, that we start with, right? So what is the constant here then? That it's 10 ETH multiplied by 500 LISA tokens, and that gives us 5,000. And this is, again, the constant. This value is very important because it is the value that governs what happens at trade. What are we going to do now? So this is the state that we are in. Now let's say someone wants to buy LISA tokens. So we, we spend 1 ETH, 1 ETH, to buy an unknown number of LISA tokens. Okay? How do we calculate this unknown number of LISA tokens? Very simple. How many ETH are we going to have now? We're going to have 11 ETH. And then we're going to have unknown number of ESA tokens. But we know that x times y always equals to 5,000. Simple. How do we do this? So the unknown number of ESA tokens, we get 5,000 divided by 11, which is the new number of ETH now. We get 400 and 54.5 LISA tokens. Okay? This means that at the end of this transaction, there will be 11 ETH in there and 545.5 LISA tokens. And what happens to the remaining? Well, that's what you do. The whole thing about exchange is that you give something, you take something out, right? So you give one ETH, and how much LISA tokens are you getting out? So, this amount over here is, is 500 LISA tokens minus this 45, 454.5 tokens and you withdraw 45.5 LISA tokens. Understand? So it's quite simple. What I'm assuming here is that there is no trading Fees. Okay, so that's why we can always come back to almost the same constant and we can have you know this kind of trade. But in reality, there is a trading fee which, which is 0.3% at Uniswap, and this amount will affect a, a little bit more complication. It's not that complicated, it's just a bit more math to deal with, but it's fine. Let's make it simple without trading fees. This is what you get. This, this is the transaction. You can do one more if you want to do to do 12 ETH. So if you in increase 12 ETH, how much LISA tokens can you get out? So you can do that on your own. But let's talk about risk first. Risk, what is this? What what we have, this situation that we have is a within within the ecosystem, right? So everything here is done within the ecosystem. And what risk are we talking about here? We're talking about price slippage. So this, everything that's done here is all the things that's moving up around, it's all within the ecosystem. You don't really care about what's happening, you know, of Visa token that's listed on Binance or or CoinMarketCap or whatever. Everything is done here. But you still have a risk because you have price slippage. So for example, someone gets to purchase it before you. So let's take a look. If you're the first buyer, so you, you purchase 11th token. Now if you're the second buyer, so you have... So now it's 12 ETH. So it's 4999.5 divided, divided by 12 ETH. And that's how many LISA tokens we, we get. And that amount is... 416622 five ESA tokens. So initially we had this amount, 
And so how much how much will I get? I will get four five four point five minus four one six point six two five. You get you get thirty seven point eight seven five these are triplets. So do you see a massive difference? If you are the second the first ETH to come in, right? Eleventh ETH, you get this amount. Four five forty-five point five tokens. Forty-five point five Visa token. Now, if you are the second one that comes in, you have only thirty-seven point eight seven five tokens. So there is there's a difference in price. So that's one that's it's not really a risk, it's more like that's how the trade works, right? Because there is less supply available and so you don't get as much out of it for the same thing, both giving one ETH. Now, when we talk about price leakage is where the, the price drops because during the trade itself. So maybe, so this is an extreme example, but what if we look at a situation where the, the prices, so you, you agree to take this amount out, right? So based on the math, very straightforward, you're going to take 37.785. You can get this amount of ESA tokens for one ETH. Now, during during this trade, you know, there's going, there are other trades happening within the ecosystem, and in the end, you only get out maybe 36.938 ESA tokens. And so you have this difference in value. And this difference in value is the price slippage because of a lot of things going on. Usually it's also you know, due to a lot of trading fees and a lot of other variables that's going on. So this is the risk within the ecosystem.